Jennifer Louise from Cultaholic and you're watching This Day on Wrestling. It's April 26th and I'm very pleased to have as my guest, Jack the Chopper. Hi. I don't know what that was, but for a double-handed way Love this time. it. That's because it's a good day today. You know what? I'm so excited It's an exciting one. day because I'm just going to cut straight in with it. Happy birthday to Kane! Kane is... Um, the I've, best. <laughs> I feel like Ross will be jealous because he Kane's his guy, mm -hmm. and I feel like he'll have wanted to do this one. Oh. Um, and he was his guy because when he was a kid, he was scared of him. Yeah. Is that really the reason? But Kane is Kane was scary from oh, when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely terrifying. Especially when you didn't talk. Well, this was it, and you didn't know what was under the mask, and it was all burns. You thought, and no, it wasn't. It wasn't. But no, the best debut ever. You think? I would actually. Do you know what? I could probably go and say that it was definitely something that. I remember being completely in awe of. Mm. I, I think it's between him and I like I like Jericho's debut as well. Yeah, okay, right, fair enough. But, yeah, fine. but it's always those two when you talk about the best WWE debuts ever. People mm. go like Kane or Jericho. And I can totally see why it would be Kane. They like, ripped the door off the cell and all that. It's just also stuff. like the whole hype about it. Like Undertaker mm. had a brother. Like what? Mm. And it was like the story again, the pure drama. Yeah. Behind it, it was just such an amazing story. Kane actually main evented the first wrestling show I ever went to. Really? What was the first time? Kind, was it? Kind of. I don't remember what the name of the promotion was, but the main event, and this was in like 2000, okay. the main event was Kane versus Sting. It, neither man was Kane or Sting. One of those ones. Yes, one of those ones. Um, <laughs> they just uh, they just sort of <laughs> hit each other a bit. I remember there was some like teenagers behind me who kept like heckling him by trying like, do a tombstone, do a tombstone. And I was like, and I believed that it was Kane, I know, and I was, was like, like oh. he knows how to do it, he will at some point, he will. <laughs> but he didn't. Dreadful. Oh. Bad show. That's a shame. It wasn't Kane. But it's not that guy's birthday. It's our Kane's birthday. Yeah, that's true. My dad as well, bless him. He tried to like, because my friend was a bit older than me and obviously worked out that it wasn't actually Kane or Sting. Oh, did you actually like work? I didn't know. Oh, you I, didn't I, 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 wanted, okay. I wanted to believe that it was actually Kane. And then on the way home, I was like, Dad, was it actually Kane? And he was like, yeah, of course it was. And I was like, but why would he, Mark said that it, he wouldn't have done this. And oh. I was like, why would he have come over this here? This is like this? Santa. And my dad was like, He'd have done it for the money, Jack. And I was like, yeah, you're right, he would have done it for the money. Thinking that it paid him like loads oh, of money. Oh, boy. <laughs> so Kane main event of the first ever wrestling show I attended live. Oh, one of my favourite like live wrestling things is when I saw Kane at a live WWE show. What did he do? He went to a table. Oh. And then sat up and I was like, uh, I literally elbowed and I'm not even ashamed. This was only about maybe four five years ago right. and I literally elbowed children out the way <laughs> to get to ringside to see that moment oh, happen like and Adam I've got a picture of it. Adam did that once. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got so, no, uh, no he, shame. He did it for Rey Mysterio. He was wearing a Rey mask at the time. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh. <laughs> it's a good story. Yeah. It's a good story. He looks so ashamed right now. <laughs> <laughs> So... We will take it on to 2000 and possibly one of the most questionable stories in wrestling history, I think. Um, WCW champion David Arquette. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thoughts on this, please. Mr. Monica from Friends. Mr. Monica. Well, he was with Courtney Cox. It's I correct. It's I know, but I just... I was, well, I've never... Yeah, I don't know. Me. <laughs> um... It was it was one of the sim like symbols of the death of WCW, wasn't it? I was like, what have they done? Why have they done it this? It was just like ah, I think there was just too many whys. Yeah, no, just one why. He, <laughs> he won it as a face. Yep. And then he turned heel and gave the belt to oh, who did he give it to? Oh, I can't even remember. I don't even know. If oh, I'm honest. oh, it wasn't DDP. That's who he screwed over. He gave the belt to someone else and then he did this promo where he went, he was in the ring and the crowd were booing him and he went, shut up, but he said it in such a weird way. He went like, shut up! Oh, Have yeah, you seen yeah, that? I've seen that. Oh, uh, yeah, because that was, was that? like, that's like a, a gif or something. I think Matthew might use it a lot in Botchamania. Maybe. But um, no, it was a bizarre one. And I think if you look at the compare, like if you compare WCW to WWE, they've had some weird champions in the past like Vince. Uh, but it was a different level of Yeah, weird. no, no, that was just kind of almost a bit too random. It was a publicity stunt, wasn't it? It was no, trying to get the mainstream was. attention. But it was. It oh, was. I'm agreeing with you, I'm saying it was a bit silly. But I just don't, yeah, I'm not... 
not a fan of it as no. a storyline. Oh. Well, see, like, I mean, give me some background into it, though, because, like I say, I don't watch they WCW. Just, like, they were just, it was just, it was just is been, he, like, a mad wrestling fan? Is yes, that no, really, he is, he is. Right, okay, right. But he's been, he, in interviews and stuff since, when they've said, why were you WCW heavyweight champion and all that? Mm. And he was going, he, he's like, I didn't want to be. He said that I knew that that was a bad booking decision, and he wanted, okay. he didn't want to do it, but they said, just do it, and he did. I think he okay. regrets it quite a lot, actually. Poor David. Poor David. I'm sorry, he didn't mean it. I guess. It's just some bad writing choices. I think there was the, it's up there with the worst decisions. You've got the, the, the various different things that led to the death of WCW. Mm -hmm. One was that. There was the finger poke of doom. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're not laughing at the term. You're not. No, I'm not. I'm just remembering it. Oh, right. I thought you were laughing at the wording no. of it. No, I am. No, you are. <laughs> there was that one. I can't get my mind off it now. <laughs> I'm never going to look at that the same way again. You did it, not me. I know. What have I brought upon this video? <laughs> hashtag finger poke of doom. Don't start a hashtag, please. So, Backlash 2009. Edge. V Cena. Mm -hmm. For the championship. I think it was last man standing. That's the way it went. Right. And... But, Big Show makes an appearance and... Interferes. Well, he chokes Sam Cena into like a spotlight at the side of the ring, mm -hmm. and I think it's a good. Because it went outside the ring, and it was all. Yeah, and that's how he did. He couldn't answer the count because it was he was in a spotlight and he was unconscious. There was a big like, explosion and stuff when it happened, and I think it's a good point about <clears throat> like when you've got a mega star like Cena who doesn't lose very often. How do you have him lose when he? Because you can't. I mean, as much as we like to joke all the wrestling fans about how Cena never loses, he does. It's he just does. when it's not clean. How do you come up with ways to have him lose? Yeah, no, okay, fair enough. And that's one of the ways. But then, do you? Nah, because you're gonna, you're a big Cena fan. I was gonna say, do you think Cena wins too much? You know, not enough. Not enough. No. He He's a sixteen-time <laughs> world champion. Make it more. Make it more. More. Um, you're not a fan. Oh, I think he's good. Um, See, but this is the, the 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 thing, right? I get, I do get kind of like slagged for liking Cena so much and being quite vocal about it. Mm. But you ask anyone out there what the their opinion of Cena, and everybody starts off with, well, you know, he's he's a he's really good at what he does. He's solid. Like, do you know what I mean? Everyone agrees Cena is totally solid, but yet it's still not cool to actually. Like Some him. people just like him unashamedly. My girlfriend loves him. Like she so doesn't do care. She wants I him have to like be. Fans, I have all the merch. And... She wants him not in like a fancying way. She wants him no, to be no, like no. her uncle or but something. But this is exactly yeah. the same. I want him to be like my adoptive parent. Right. Like I love him. He's quite a wholesome figure. He's so good. He's just be the best person in the world. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like you see like interviews, you see videos of him online. He's a really good ambassador like, for them. Ah, I mean he is the company guy. Mm. Like he's kind of who you want on your team. Yeah. Cena would be my first pick if we were like playing rounders or dodgeball. Anything. And anything. In fact, anything. Monopoly. If there was some kind like, of like, like zombie situation, right? Cena. I think he's probably the guy I'd want to lead me out of it safely. Oh, absolutely. He'd make sure that you get. He there. would. He would pick you up. You know that way. He would be. He'd go back for you. Yeah, if he you would. ever got lost. He would. He'd go back for you. I hope he's nice in real life. I think he is. You've not met him, have you? You met no. John? Oh. <laughs> no way. I would, I'd be a shell of a human if I knew him. <laughs> I would not be able to keep my cool. I'm trying to think, just to... This is totally off topic now. I'm trying to think who I've been most shaken around. Oh yeah, this is fan. a cool topic. Mm. Uh, I don't know, I kind of... I mark out quite easy. Oh, do you? Which is really bad in my I job. try and keep a lid on it. I'm trying to like, no. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, unashamed. Probably fully for me. Foley's a good job. I'm not, I've not met him, but uh, that's a good job. He is, he was like, he's up there with my all time favourites. Right. Like, top three, they all change. Kind of inter. Interchangeable. Interchangeable yeah, within yeah, my yeah. top three, but still, he's in the top three and has been a solid in there for many, many, many years. And I think when I met him, in fact, I actually climbed in a bin after I met him. Why? After I interviewed him, because I was like, get in the bin. <laughs> And then there was a bin there and I climbed in it. What do you mean? You could walk me through that, sorry? <laughs> it was a story we interviewed him and uh, after he just left and I was like <laughs> oh, so freaking just... out and I was like, oh, just get in the bin. Did someone tell you to get in the bin or did you just... No, I just said get was in the bin. Was this on camera or was this just a... No, but there was two witnesses. Okay. Was it an empty bin? Ah. Oh. 
All right, okay. Yeah, they're just climbing up bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fully. Who's yours? Uh, Matt Hardy. Okay, fair play. Cause he, cause we did a bit. Yeah. And I was like, I can't believe that we're doing a bit. Is it bit. one of those like pinching moments you just like... He was, we were rehearsing it in the locker room and I realised that I'm lying on the floor of the locker room and Matt Hardy's on top of me. I was like, oh, I used to play as you in Smackdown. Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Mine's Matt Hardy. Who's yours? So that was this day in wrestling and you can follow me on Twitter here. If you like what we do at Cultaholic, you can support us by pledging to our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.